Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well and learning lots and lots of new and amazing things with my YouTube channel and my YouTube videos. Now in the last video, I have demonstrated how to install Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Edition R2 version using Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, which you can see on your screens. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate you that before you install Active Directory and make Windows Server 2008 a active running server and taking it as a client edition also. So what we have to do in terms of network, what settings we have to do in terms of the server and client, how to make the client and server ping along with that I will be demonstrating how to make remote desktop connection also. We will be learning lots and lots of things in this video. Now as you can see that this is the main console of Oracle VMware VirtualBox Manager and I have already installed two windows that is Windows Server 2008 which is a server window and Windows 7 which is known as the client window. Now before I should power on let us first of all do some settings regarding the network. Now if you right click on this and go to settings what I recommend you go to this network and click on enable network adapter and attach to select the internal network. Now after this do the same setting under Windows 7 settings go to the network and again that is called internal network towards this so that we can allocate our own IP address into VMware machine and we can make two machines acting as you can say uh, ping to ping or client to client or server to client server like environment in that. Now let us power on this Windows Server 2008. Now I will be starting all those settings like we have installed Windows Server 2008 in the previous window. Now we will do the settings one by one and after that we will be doing some pinging of both these machines and after that we will be doing some basic network experiments like sharing the folder, making a folder, remote desktop from Windows 7 to 2008 or from Windows 2008 to Windows 7. Now let us power on this machine, let us click start and even I will be starting up my client also. Now depending on the uh, performance of your machine that is a good amount of RAM and faster hard disk will give you better performance. So it will take some of couple of seconds and uh, now you can see that both the Windows 7 and Windows 2008 has already been started up. In a couple of seconds we will be seeing our uh, Windows Server 2008 start. And this is the basic setting which you have to do in order to practice if you are doing Microsoft Certified Systems Engineering or Windows 2008. And in the coming videos after doing some basic operations towards Windows 2008, we will be doing some basic operations on Windows Server 2012 also. Like uh, how to install it, how to deploy Active Directory and to do other operations also. So now you can see that the sound has come up of Windows 7 and I just log in with uh, my username and password but I have to log in with my administrator. So how to do that? I will be also making you do that. So it is taking some time. So till that what we do? We just work on our client machine. Now first of all when you land into this client machine you first of all optimize the screen resolution. Now in my case I have, I have taken the optimized screen resolution to 1024 into 768 okay so this is the basic setting which you have to do after that what I have to do is to click on this right click on my computer click on manage Now you can see the basic folder of computer management. Now double click this local users and groups, double click users. Now we have the username with my name that is Anand. I have to delete this user. I click yes and I click yes. So click OK to continue. And now I have to set a password for administrator. So I click proceed. ABC password is there. 
a basic password you can change your password as per you so make sure that you do this option right click the administrator click on properties over here you can see that the account is disabled so uncheck this otherwise you will not be able to log in so click on ok and now we just log off and we log in with the administrator so make it sure that whenever you do the work of this type of sort you log in with the administrator so now let us give the password and now we are logging with the administrator So it is taking some more time when you do the it for the first time it will take some time but after that it will run smoothly very smoothly so now you can see that right, like properties and now we can have this okay so now what we have to do we have to first of all go to control panel and we have to search firewall so we have remote desktop so we don't have to use this and we go to this that check firewall status and we have to disable the firewall so turn off the firewall over here and turn off the windows firewall over here so that we can have the easy connections and now let us have an ip address over here right click over here open network connections so change adapter settings right click over here click on properties as a client i just provide it as an ip address that is 192.168.0.13 the subnet mask will be coming that is 255.255.255.0 because it's a c class ip address and i give it as a gateway as 192.168.0.1 i will not be specifying the dns server because right now it is a simple uh, computer over here so i will be just giving ok and click ok and i go to this start and i go to this cmd and I go with the command that is called IP config. So now you can see that the IP has already been pinned up. So now let us do some work over the server also. So I go to this server. Now I go to this input keyboard insert control alt del. Now here is the password which I have already given in the previous thing. So let me typing my password. So now let us see what changes we have to make in order to make this server 2008 as a working server so that we can perform the basic operations before doing any operations on Active Directory. So let us go with this. Uh, first of all, go to this proper personalize and go to display settings. And now you can see that the resolution is 1024 into 768 so it is okay for my laptop so over here let us go to some basic settings this is called initial configuration setting so now first of all we have to go with set time zone so time zone is okay for this country configure networking is there provide computer name and domain so what i do is first of all change the computer name so click on this and go to this click change and now i provide it as server one server one so i click ok you have to restart the system in order to change the effect so click close and i click on restart now so it will take some time and after that i will be showing you what extra things we have to do uh, in order to make this as a proper server before installing active directory So now the system has already been booted and at any time I can see the welcome screen and then we provide our administrator username and password and then we will be logging in and then we can see that whether the system name has changed to server one or not. So now it is applying the computer settings. So over here you can see what I basically recommend that your system should have at least 16 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM would be sufficient but in order to perform high practicals on server 2012 or server 2016 which we are going to welcome this year now so I recommend that it is better that you should have 8 to 16 GB of RAM 
so that uh, some RAM will be shared by the main by the host system and some will be shared by the virtualized system. So now let us fire this and give the control, give the input, keyboard, insert control alter del. Now I, I welcome with the password. So now it is preparing my desktop. So now I again we have to just wait for starting of the initial configuration settings. So now it is loading the full computer name should be over here as server one. Okay, so now the server one has set up. So and again we have to do is that that uh, we have to click on download and install updates. What I recommend is to don't use this. So we have uh, we have to turn it off. So make it sure that uh, it is off. Okay, so now let us configure some networking. Click on configure networking. Right click over here. Click on properties my network connection. So now click on this IP4. And now I give the IP address as 192.168.0.12. Now make it sure that I have taken client as 0.13 and over here I am putting 0.12. So again I give the gateway as 192.168.0.1. So I don't have to specify the DNS server because right now it is just a client and server. I have not configured it as a DNS server. We will be doing it when we install Active Directory. So click OK and click OK. But still now we have to do one more setting. We have to turn, we have to go to the start, we have to click on control panel. We have to go to this windows firewall and we have to turn this firewall as off. So we have to turn off, we have to go to exceptions and we have to enable remote desktop so that we can take this machine as a remote desktop machine. So we click apply and we click OK. So click close, close and close. So now what we do, we just have to check so I just uh, put over here. So we just have to check our IP address has already been done or not. So I go with the ping 190. Sorry, first of all, we go with IP config. So now you can see that the IP address has already been binded. So let me ping the client machine now. So ping 192.168.0.13. So now you can see that it is pinging and the reply is being coming from the client. So similarly, we go to the client machine that is Windows 7. We go over here and we go to CMD, we go to slash, this is called the IP config and now let us ping the server 192.168.0.12. Now you can see that the client machines are already been pinging and there is a big, uh, big connection between the client and the server. So let us make some uh, folder over there. So slash slash 192.168.0.12. Let us take uh, as the server IP. So now we have to provide the username. I give it administrator and I type my password of Windows Server 2008. So let us go with this. Click OK. Now you can see that it has given me some settings. So first of all, we do one thing that we access the C drive 168.0.12 slash C dollar. Now you can see that it has opened. So right click on the folder that is new folder. I make a folder that is Anand. So let us make so let us see that whether that folder has been created to Windows Server 2012 or, or 8 or not. So I go to this computer and I see this C drive. Now you can see that the folder is being created over here. So similarly, I just do one thing. I just create a folder to the client over the, from the server 192.168.0.13, which is the client IP slash C dollar. So now we have to provide the name that is administrator like we have provided in the server and I give my password that is ABC. Now you can see that it has been opened. So click new. I click folder that is Anand client machine. So let us see whether this folder is visible to Windows 7 or not. So I just refresh it. So I go to my computer and I go to C drive. Now you can see that the Anand client machine is there. So now let us do some remote desktop access. Now suppose that uh, I have this Windows 7 machine and I want to remotely work on the uh, on that is uh, Windows Server 2008. So let us go to the start and type in the command that is MSTSC, which is called Microsoft Terminal Services. So before that, we have to make one settings also that is right click on the computer, click on properties. We have the remote settings. So we let uh, we allow connections from computers running any version of this computer. So click on OK 
and similarly we have to same the settings towards the server machine also so, oops so go to this server machine and again I right click the computer properties and remote settings so again I allow this settings so will be enabled so click OK OK so I close everything so I close this also so now let us make a remote connection to from Windows 7 to server 2008 I type in my IP address 192.168.0.12 so now it is asking for the password I am giving the password so in a couple of seconds I will be greeted in this client machine the same desktop of Windows Server 2008 so let's wait it can take some time from a couple of seconds to a minute depending on the network speed as well as some uh, system speed also so now we have to click this yes so I don't uh, I want me to ask this credential again to the computer so click yes So in a couple of seconds again we will be greeted with Windows Server 2008 screen so the same steps now you can see so let us change this uh, you can say the wallpaper of this machine so let us change the desktop background and now I just click this I click OK and click this so let us see I just close this machine go to this and I go to the server 2008 now so I click on this input keyboard insert delete and I log in so let us see whether that has changed or not so now the screen has changed so which means that the client and server are properly working so in this video we have learned how to basically do what settings so that we can make both the client and server in the same machine as they're into two separate machines and in the next video we will be learning how to install Active Directory on Windows Server 2008 so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much